Hey, what's up everybody? Steve from Flight Brothers and today I'm just doing a quick video on how to wire up the Diatone V7 PDB, which is exactly the same as the Maytech Mini Power Hub that comes with the ZMR X210 frame. So I just want to give a quick rundown of how this works. It's pretty straightforward. The battery lead gets soldered right here to this pad negative, this pad positive, and your four ESCs get soldered to these four corners with the clearly marked positive and negative leads. If you need battery voltage out for any reason, like for instance battery monitoring, these two pads right here, plus and minus, will give you battery voltage out. You have these two switching BECs, one for 5 volts and one for 12 volts, and right up here is a 5 volt output which you might want to use for your flight controller and receiver. Right over here is your 12 volt output. These are just straight outputs, no switches, 5 volts and 12 volts. Now the one place on this PDB that can be a little tricky is right down here. You have a camera out or a camera voltage and a VTX voltage out. And there's a third pad on these two underneath the word cam and underneath the letters VTX you have that extra pad. What that pad is for is actually you can run your video signal through here. So you go from your camera to the negative, positive, and video signal here and that will go out, of, out to your VTX here, the video signal, and also power your VTX. The other tricky thing is these out of the box do not supply any voltage. So if you go ahead and try and solder to these, your camera and your VTX, without doing another step, you're not going to get any voltage to those two units. That's where these little pads come in. These pads are solder bridges. You can see they're labeled 12, 5, and VCC, which is battery voltage. In order to get voltage to this pad for the camera, you need to decide if you're going to use 12 volts, 5 volts or battery voltage and you actually need to connect the two pads underneath which one you're going to use with a little solder bridge and then you'll be good to go. Keep in mind if you're flying with a 3 cell battery you typically don't want to use the 12 volt BC because as the battery drains close to 12 volts and below you're going to see an output of less than 12 volts, significantly less, it could go down even below 11 and might freak out your 12 volt electronics. 5 volt, of course, for most CMOS, CMOS cameras and things like that would work fine. Battery voltage would be good if you're running three cells and you need a 12 volt source. On the VTX side, you get 12 volt option or you get VCC option. So real quick, I'm going to show you my technique for doing these soldering bridges quickly. All right, so here we are looking at these pads. We're getting ready to bridge this. Now I'm gonna be running a four cell with this PDB, so I wanna use 12 volt out to bring my four cell voltage down to 12 volts to the camera. So these, the Diatone V7 comes pre-tinned on these pads, so there's already a little glob of solder on each pad. The Maytech Mini Power Hub, I'm not sure if it comes pre-tinned or not. If not, just put a little glob on whichever one you're going to use. There's no sense in doing all six of them there. But just get a little pre-tin on both pads that you're going to use. And then with a nice fine tip soldering iron and some good solder, just put a little glob on your tip of your iron. And all you're going to do is just touch the top pad, let that solder melt, and just drag it over to the other one and then drag it back a couple of times real lightly with it and you'll see that solder build up between those two pads and you can see pretty clearly now I've connected those two pads with a little glob of solder there and at this point when I plug a four cell battery into the battery side because that's bridged, I'm going to get 12 volt out to my cam here and here. Now on the VTX side, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to use 12 volts on the VTX side, so I'm going to bridge between those two. And I've got a nice glob connecting those two together. So with this configuration, I'm going to get 
12 volts out on my VTX from a four cell battery, I'm gonna get 12 volts out to my camera when I use a four cell battery. If I wanted five volts out, I would have put the bridge between this, or again, if you're running three cell and you wanna use battery voltage, you'd use the VCC bridge, and that's how you get voltage to these outputs on the PDB. So there you go, thanks for watching this little demonstration, and uh, I appreciate you liking, subscribing, and sharing this video if you think it'll help somebody. Thanks again.